Hello everyone, welcome back to Two Minute Tips. Let's get started. The default end of survey experience consists of a pre-written message that thanks the respondent for taking the survey and lets them know that their responses have been recorded. While this default message does its purpose, there are times where you need to do something different, such as redirect the respondent to a different website or show them a summary of the responses. Let's learn how to customize our end of survey element to create more personalized experiences for our respondents. To begin, let's go to our survey and scroll down to the end of survey section. Once you click on it, you will see a messaging tab on the left hand side where you can edit the end of survey message via a drop down menu. If we want to display a custom message, we must select custom and then choose a message from our message libraries. If we need to create a new message, simply click new message. When creating a new message, we must give the message a name by writing inside of the description text box. This allows us to find it later on if we ever need to use it in a different survey. We can also always edit these messages by going into the message library. Once we've given the message a name, fill in the body with any information you would like to display to the respondent and click save. This message will not be displayed to any respondent who finishes the survey. If we want to redirect our respondents to a different website, we can do so by clicking the dropdown, choosing redirect to URL, and adding the URL. Our last option on this section is to include a response summary. This will display both a default end of survey message and include a summary of the respondent's responses underneath. Another way we can customize the end of survey experience is by going into the survey flow and adding an end of survey element. If we click customize and select override survey options, we have a large set of options to choose from. This feature is especially useful when we are screening out respondents based on their responses. For example, in this survey, I only want respondents whose favorite color is blue. So if they choose any other color, I can use a branch element and include my end of survey element that will display a custom message, letting them know that they are not eligible for my study. And just like that, we now know the different ways to edit the end of survey experience. Before I go, I want to shout out the post that inspired this video. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to customize the end of survey experience with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the two minute tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.